Welcome aboard, matey. I'm John Zadar, and this is On Top and Hot. Today, we're taking a look at a company called Bodum Inc. Bodum stands for Boat International Marketing. They're on the OTC market, the QB, the middle tier where they have to audit their financials, and their ticker, BTIM. Now, Bodum Inc. is a new company. They just launched out of Barcelona, Spain in 2018 and in 2019 relocated over here in Miami, Florida. Perfect city for a boating company. Now, this company is creating an all-encompassing app for both the boating enthusiasts and for the professional businesses so that everything that's needed is under one app. And there's a lot more to it than just cars. Now, back in the day, we used to have to go to the dealership to buy a car. Look at the showroom floor, walk around the lot, see if you find anything you like. Maybe go to the newspaper and check out the local ads, but that was it. Well, since the internet, we've created this huge market where you can find any car you want virtually anywhere and get it to your house. Well, that's what this company is doing with all the rest that is necessary. Nothing worse than having a boat broke down and you have no place to get your parts and you don't know who to contact to fix it. This app is going to help. Do you know that last year was one of the biggest years for the boating industry? I don't know if it was because of COVID and people just wanted to get away from the crowds and out in the middle of the water was the safest place to be or what. But last year alone, they did over a million pre-owned boats being sold. And in 2020, they did 300,000 plus new boats at a value of over $20 billion. This market is fragmented and needs to be brought together. And this company is looking to do that right now. Let's go take a look at some facts over at the OTC market. This is where I always do my initial due diligence on an OTC stock, otcmarkets.com, simply because it's never outdated. The SEC and FINRA update this particular site every single day for the OTC stocks. So honestly, I don't see the point of going to Google sorting through old information when all I want is that one current piece of information. Just come here. That's all they publish is current information. So we are looking at Bodum Inc.'s information. Uh, they finished the day to day at just under 19 cents. No gains, no losses. They have a verified profile and a transfer agent verified. We like to see these green ticks over here. Now, what does this company say about themselves? Well, they say our globally connected online marketplace, social network and digital tools are professionalizing and standardizing the boating industry. We connect the services, products and knowledge with the enthusiasts and the professionals through our proprietary AI driven technology. Our platform is seamlessly accessed through the desktop, tablet and mobile devices, allowing boaters to be in contact with each other and the professionals they seek wherever they might be in the world. This is a global company, as they said from the very beginning. They are trying to touch onto every shoreline in every country around the world. And right now they got about 10% of that market on their app. So they are doing a lot and they're coming out right now, just out of winter, coming into spring. And last year was a big year for boating in the US, probably because it was the safest place to be hot in the middle of the water. So there isn't any news about this company right now. There's no real catalyst to be talking about, except it's about ready to take off. And there's not a lot of serious competition pulling the market together like they are. So what was their relative volume today? You don't expect that it was a whole lot. And it wasn't, it wasn't. They normally have been doing about 32,000 shares a day. Today they did about half of that. But with regard to that, it wasn't a great day on the market. It had some terrible ups and downs, but then you know that it's been a horrible month with what's going on in Russia and the Ukraine. China's had their things going on. We're still dealing with COVID. The market's in turmoil. So even good companies are getting pounded down. What is their share structure on this? Well, look at that. How about that? We got 15.6 million shares in the float. I didn't realize it was so low. That is a good float. Now, this is a pre-revenue company, so I don't expect to see any money here. That's the annual and the quarterly. Nope, they're not making any. But yes, they are spending money. They are in business to make money. They just aren't creating revenues yet, but that's happening. 
what is their disclosure situation? We got any sort of new disclosures. I like to look for 8Ks, see if they have anything new to announce. No, they've got nothing here since the middle of February. So let's go take a look at that news because it really tells us everything we need to know. What's really great about this news is it's pretty obvious just through the headlines what's going on. So you don't have to jump in and read all of this. But they're working diligently on both sides of the coin of this app. The whole point is to bring the professionals, the services, the parts, the products to the consumer and make it easy for the consumer to find all of that wherever they are in the world, not just the United States. And that's what their AI app does. It uses all of the metadata that you've already got in your device, all of those searches, everything you've been looking at and reading, including your geographical location and stuff, and puts all that to use for you without you having to do anything. So it hones in on the type of things you're going to like and bring that to you without you having to put a lot of effort into it. That's the whole point to AI. So back here, they got an auto sync for the professionals. All the manufacturers, the boat dealers, even the marinas. Lots of marinas have boats for sale. And this is a way for them to auto sync their information because I assure you, Bodum isn't the only place they're listing their services or boats. They're doing it on a lot of sites. Well, when you do it on one, it can just be picked up and brought over to Bodum for you automatically. That saves them a lot of time. Imagine the inventory that they have constantly moving from point A to point B and you would not believe how many manufacturers there are. I'm not kidding. We're going to go look at their website and they got a list of them. And I, I just can't believe there can actually be that many. We then see that they create a partnership for getting boat history reports. We've had these for cars. I guess they got them for boats too, right? And you'd like to know what's going on with your boat if it's a, not a new boat. Then they also have insurance uh, financing for the buyers. Imagine that. You come in, you find yourself a boat for $4 million. Oh yeah, the boats are expensive. There's little ones and really big ones. And you can get financing, you can get payments, you can get insurance for your boat all at this site. Then they launch the consumer mobile application. It is in pre-launch up here at Apple. And then they add the marinas. As I told you, they want to get everybody included. You got to have a slip to put your boat in the water, right? A marina. But when you pull it out of the water, you got to have storage. So they've got storage information as well. Your boat breaks down, you're going to need parts. Where do you get boat parts? They can tell you, but who can put the parts in for you? Yeah, that's right. They can tell you. They are getting all of that information together from all around the world, not just the United States, because let's face it, Boats go all the way around the world. I mean, literally, they leave one country and sail to another country or whatever, boat, sail, however they're doing it. So let's go take a look at the website so you can see what that's all about. I'm not much of a boater, but I think it's a pretty impressive website. And let me show you that list of manufacturers. This is the company's website, Bodum.com. It's a nice wide open site. It reads very well. I haven't seen the app, but I do know that both the app and the website are totally free to the consumer and user. We don't have to pay any membership fees or anything like that. It's actually the businesses that are paying this company. A lot like Facebook. We get to use that for free, but Facebook is making a lot of money from a lot of businesses that pay them for advertising for them. Well, this company says that they have a combination of data, technology, and the power of the social media that they use to deliver high quality lead generations for their dealers. That's how they make money. It is sort of advertising, but it's better than advertising because instead of waiting for someone to click a button, you're actually getting information brought to you about people who are really looking for boats. They're out there searching. And it's not just the boat dealers and the manufacturers, it's the marinas, it's the boat repair shops. It's all of these places and they're all going to be paying this company money for bringing them business. Now, I told you I was going to show you that list of manufacturers. It's a big list. We go over here to this page. We can get a peek at it. We are definitely not going to read it. Right here is just a portion of the list. This is nothing. Here, all manufacturers. Now, we're not going to read it. We're not even going to scroll through it slowly. But this is the list. We are through the L's and the M's. And this is all over the world. 
Now consider that. If you're traveling around the world, your boat breaks down, do you have any idea what's in the neighborhood? Not a clue. So this place is gonna have, yes, I'm still scrolling. This place is gonna have all the manufacturers, dealers, repair shops, parts stores in that region. Boy, aren't you gonna be glad you have an app? Oh my God, look at this, still going. So you can see how many companies there are that make boats. Ain't near this many make cars. Unbelievable. So now let's say you wanted to buy a boat here. What would that look like? Well, I'm interested in a motorboat, right? So we're gonna come over here and it's gonna be laid out maybe like an auto trader, right? We got a $5 million boat here. Do they call that a boat or a yacht? Uh, Eight million, that looks better to me. I can afford that, that's right up my <laughs> So we get some real nice pictures here of this beautiful $8 million yacht. Looks pretty sharp. They give us information down here. They tell us where the boat is located. This one's in the Bahamas. I'm in Michigan. So I don't think they'll have any problem bringing this up the coastline and through down to Lake Michigan. Can you get through there? I don't know. Uh, you can get the phone number here, obviously. They got videos, information on the boat, all sorts of stuff. They got a magazine here. Uh, you can sell your boat here as a private listing or register as a dealer. They've just got lots of information and they just now are about ready to add the marina section. And speaking of the marina section, let me show you what that comes with. This information we're looking at comes directly from the company, it comes from their presentation deck. It's kind of like a online brochure. Quick bullets of their information so that you can get it real easy. Now, it is a little outdated. I think this is about six months old. So the numbers we're looking at are probably bigger than we're seeing right now. They tell us here that they onboarded back then 180 dealers across 15 countries, reached over 30 million boating enthusiasts and prospective buyers, and helped more than 20,000 new community members engage directly with their favorite boat brands and maritime content. And I'm sure those numbers are only getting bigger. Now, when we talk about the marinas, it's a very integral part of boating, folks. You got to have a place to park your boat. Let's face it, we're not going to be putting that $8 million yacht we were looking at in the front of our house and towing it down to the marina every weekend. We're not going to do it. But more importantly than that, there are many boaters that go to destinations they've never been to before. They're going to want to know where the marinas are at. And that's why they created this marina search tool. And back then, they had already signed up 2,000 registered marinas. Along with that, they got 6,600 more boats to sell. I mean, if you were going to sell your boat, where would it be? Right, down at the marina. And they got an additional 17,000 businesses that were attached to those marinas. And I'm sure those were parts stores and repair shops. So as you can see, things are growing. They're just getting bigger and bigger and they're dealing with the whole world. Now this is a pre-revenue company, so they're gonna be at a very good price. Let's take a look at a few reasons why you should consider this company now before they start running. So here we got five reasons you should be considering this company. Now the first one shows you that this information is out of date, but the truth is it's actual and factual. It's already occurred. Retail sales for new boats should surpass 300,000 units for 2021 and retail sales look to be 7% above the five year sales average. Well, that's true. It's already happened and that's about exactly what happened. The 2022 boating market sales forecast is expected to surpass 2021 totals by as much as 3%. Just getting bigger. Bodum's software as a service is currently used by about 10% of the industry and that number is growing daily. They got 90% virgin market to still tap into. Bodum Inc. is a pre-revenue company currently trading at what could be considerable discount. And according to CEO Joseph Johnson, we'll start reporting revenues as soon as June 2022. And finally, the company is looking to uplist to the NASDAQ in 2023, which should generate many more visibility and further excitement onto BTIM. Well, that's true. You get to the NASDAQ, you get all the big investors looking at you, the hedge funds, the institutions. They don't like to look at OTC stocks, so we like to get these companies up to the NASDAQ as soon as possible. Let's go take a look at that chart, though I'm not expecting much right now, I'll bet it is a buyer's opportunity. 
There you have BTIM, six month, four hour chart. Most of the six months on the four hour chart, she has been under the 200 day SMA. She had one strong month here, hit a high during that strong month of 42 cents and then fell down to just about 10 cents. And right now we're at about 19 cents. We are far below the 200 and below the 50, though it looks like we got a crossover on the MACD right now and the RSI is starting to push up. Looking at the 20 day, one hour. All right, I'm gonna fill in these dashes here. I know you don't understand what I mean, so I'm gonna show you. There's a special bar over here called the Heiken Ashi. There, a lot easier to see, right? Not only does this fill in the travel of where the price came from to get there, but it is showing actual pressure showing the MACD and the volume all combined in here. It's a different type of bar and it lays out the parameters very nicely so that you can see pennants and you can see triangles and things like that. So on the one hour, 20 day, half of the time she was above the 50, the other half she was below and it looks like she is just trying to push up to it right now. We got the MACD on top and just about to cross the signal line with the RSI pushing up. All looks like promising signs without a whole lot going on. Remember, this had very little volume, right? Very little volume. So for the five day, we had a jump up, a fall down, a jump up, a fall down. So she just seems to be going sideways right now. And she's bouncing between about uh, 14 cents and 18 cents. 14 cents and 18 cents. I don't think she's going to probably get down to that low of 10. But in this market, God only knows what can happen. So I like this company for the long run. I think boating is something that a lot of people like to do. I do believe that the sector is fragmented. I was looking at boating sites. Yeah, there's lots of sites selling boats, but they don't have all the encompassing uh, peripheral things that boaters need. So I really think this company's got a lot going for them. And I think going globally is going to be one of the biggest advantages that they've got. So BTIM, you may want to consider this as an investment. Do your own DD. But from my point of view, this is looking pretty good.